I'm getting wedding day vibes. Whoa! Can I get back there? Absolutely. Feels like the future. Yeah. They're making a debut in today's video with, which is the new updated glass. My first ever prototype drive. Do you think I should gun it a little on the hill? Sure. We just arrived at Aptura's headquarters and we met with Chris uh, McCannon, the head of marketing, and we're just waiting for the Gamma prototype to show up now. He's gonna spin it around, so any seconds, it'll be my first ever in the wild or not in the wild <laughs> sighting of the Aptera prototype. I'm pretty excited, especially after seeing the Cybertruck in person, all the dimensions and how it kind of gives you more of a feel for the product. It makes it feel a lot more real. That's why I'm kind of nervous slash excited <laughs> to see it for the first time. I'm getting wedding day vibes. We're documenting the first look, the first turn. Hmm. It's kind of like the first day of the future. This whole trip has been like seeing what the future looks like. Cyber trucks and Apteras everywhere. They're just all over. Nothing in between, just those two. If oh, there's... okay, it's happening. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, wow, he's ripping it too. What? <laughs> wow, hey Chris. How's it going? Nice ride. Wow! Oh my god. <laughs> Man, from so many angles, you can't even see the back tire. Whoa! <laughs> I can touch it, right? No touching. <laughs> we weren't allowed to touch the Cybertruck, so I'm like... I'll admit, when I read the dimensions, I was concerned this is going to be too big or too wide or something. But this is actually perfect. I love the width at first glance. Oh, wow. This is so cool. So which prototype is this So one. this is Gamma, which is not Delta, so there's still a few more changes before the actual production intent models, but this is the closest like in the wild prototype they have, which has working solar. So I believe these solar cells are charging. So they're they're active. They're actually charging up a battery. This is deep. Look how deep the hatch goes. That goes really far back. And the Delta will go back further because the hatch reaches all the way to the license plate. Oh, that's cool. And because it's a uh, auto cycle, they get to use the smaller license plate. You definitely yeah. don't need one on the front. The ground clearance is also a lot better than I thought. Pictures, sometimes it looks like the wheel pants are like barely touching the ground. There's actually a good amount of distance here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That wheel pants gonna move with the wheel simultaneously. So that should be good for speed bumps and things. Okay, get in, I'll go on the other side. This is so cool. I love this interior so far. Very familiar, of course, but we also have these big, oh, oh that's interesting. The display, I've, I've heard about this and seen it in pictures, but it makes so much more sense when you're in person. This is the AC vent, in case you're curious, and you're like, hey, the bezel's kind of thick. No, that's actually functional. So the air from the AC is gonna flow out of these sides, which is kind of perfect, because it's pointed at you already. Oh. This is something the Cybertruck needs, but doesn't have. We actually have a display up here showing the rear camera feed. That's really wide too. You can see quite a bit from up there, which makes sense. Most people are probably gonna have the solar hatch. So you're not gonna be able to see out the back with a real mirror anyway. I love the visibility, by the way. Like you can see everything really clear. In pictures and videos and stuff, I was like, we got this big column here. What's that gonna be like? But now sitting in it, this is a lot larger how does it feel so big on the inside? That's what's kind of blowing my mind right now. <laughs> I know they said this isn't the production uh, center console, but I still kind of love this look. This is uh, pineapple leather. These sun visors are cute. <laughs> okay, and then we have a door button to get out like usual. So this part of the window goes up and down and uh, this part does not. So it's just wide enough so you can grab your donuts from Dunkin' and everything. This, I guess, helps with aerodynamic efficiency, which is great. I have got leg room for days though. Seriously, this is like, I've got more leg room than the Model 3, it feels like. I don't tell know. Tell the viewers how tall you are. Oh, 5'11". I've got leg room for days. It's a shame there's no second row because I could <laughs> I could uh, move it up and improve the leg room, but I don't need to. That goes back really far. I love these dimensions so much. And I love these doors going straight up, especially if you're in a tight parking space. That's another thing I wanted to ask about. You can see the wheel pants, which is excellent. So I'll be in the driver's seat when I'm driving, but if my wife was in the passenger seat, she can look off to the side and say, yeah, you're good. You're good, like you're not gonna hit. If you're in a really tight spot, and the other thing, if you're in a tight spot, is you can open the door. <laughs> 
<laughs> that way you're not swinging out banging into the cars next to you that is amazing i feel like that makes it easier to get in and out too if i was pulling into a place actually the door almost doesn't stick out yeah it's about in line with the wheel pan so you could probably as you're pulling into a space just open the door so you can see everything and then just step right out we have a little document holder down here which is smart because there's not really a glove box. I believe the document holder will be here in the production model. Those pedals are really cool. Those are actually from recycled skateboards. They found a supplier that finds old skateboards that aren't being used anymore and turned them into go and stop pedals. The stop pedal you'll probably hardly ever need to use. Oh, I see. That's the camera feeds from the, the mirror. So it's showing the doors as they're upright right now because these mirrors are pretty small. That's okay because <laughs> you want better aero, right? So I'm in love. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful interior. This is an interesting material too. There's like kind of a fiber woven design to it. That's interesting. Let's take a look at the back. Can I get back there? Absolutely. After they're done filming, I'll let him put it in there. Oh yeah, awesome. Is it comfortable? Perfect. I just put my pillow back here. You can move these forward even more if you need. I've got leg room to spare. Okay, you can close it. <laughs> uh, I don't think your feet are gonna fit. Oh wow. Look how far back. Whoa. A lot of space. You think the production model will go forward with that? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. That's representative. For sure. That's a ton. So we can go. Look how much leg room I have to spare when these are moved forward. This will be good for camping. Plus, you can run the AC over now. That doesn't feel possible. Like the dimensions on the inside, considering how. Yeah, the body itself is pretty slim. Mm. Wife's first thoughts on our next car. The shape of it. The design is very sleek. Yes. Let me get in. Okay. Wow. Knock, knock. <laughs> yeah, knock, knock. Louise gets in the oh. driver's seat before I do. I can't reach the pedals. <laughs> do you see that? You have too much leg room. It's in the middle. Yeah, just like your old car. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then that's the. Uh oh. Smart. It feels very sleek. Good. <laughs> I like the feeling of this yoke. How does that feel? Oh, yeah. It's an kind interesting design. It looks like Jake from Adventure Time. <laughs> <laughs> it's got good ergonomics, I think. Yeah? Is it comfortable? Yeah, pretty comfortable. Good. Um, we'd have to test it on like a 10 hour road trip. That's though. true. Is that okay, Chris? Can we drive it for 10 hours? Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to drive it home if that's okay. Oh, yeah. Give it a close. Wow. You look cute in there. It just feels like the future. Yeah. So cool. Look at her go. <gasps> there you go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're good. It actually doesn't cool. spring up with much force. That was pretty easy for me to stop. Okay, here. one complaint. What? When I was getting out, this thing kind of hurts. Oh, okay. Did that bump you? Maybe a There's too far back or something. They may be different on the production model, but they yeah. need to put some cushion on that. Yeah, that should be doable. Ooh. Oh, that feels nice. Do you like a yoke wow. design? I do actually. I believe this will be adjustable in the production model so I can move it up and down. But yeah, those displays are pretty big actually. These are two separate displays, but they have one sheet of glass on the front. Uh -huh. You can see a lot, honestly. Those have really good camera feet. I was not expecting the frame rate to be as good as <laughs> this feels like 60 FPS, which I suppose is important because it's supposed to be like your real time view of everything. You'd want to make sure everything is pretty responsive but i don't know i'm just used to the lower frame rate in my tesla it might be better with hardware 4 i have hardware 3. <laughs> this is so cool do you have any opinions that. on the solar panels all over it i want that on all cars <laughs> including this one it's interesting there's actually solar on the dash i think that's a perfect location because it's always just cooking in most cars right under that hot sun and all of that energy goes to waste whereas this car is actually doing something with that energy which is epic so Aptera is actually still making some updates to this prototype. We have the old plastic solar top and uh, you can see how it kind of picks up some lines. The sun's kind of showing. It's a bit less durable than what they're making a debut in today's video with, which is the new updated glass, which is much stronger, much more durable. It's a different texture. They're putting some black tape over some of the connectors here, which I kind of like personally. They kind of catch the light. It kind of lets you know what it is and that it's capturing sunlight but this is not super thick and yet much stronger much more durable ultra thin flexible but strong glass and uh, this has not been on the gamma prototype before so this is new that's the old-fashioned one they're already making improvements to it so pretty neat i want to play around with the display but i'm not sure how much i'm supposed to take can i press this in oh 
Charging off. Charging off. Hood dash roof. That's cool. This is not production grade software, so we can open the doors virtually, which is cool. Wow. You can't do that in a Tesla unless it it's a Model so X. Fast. It does, but it was pretty easy to stop when you opened it. I just put my hand on it and it slowed down. That means you could open it like as you're walking up. It could like detect your phone and just. That'd be cool. So my uncle Todd is six foot three. Oh, nice. So I want to gauge his height in the gamut. There you go. Not too bad. Yeah, it works. Yeah, that headroom is actually comes up a yeah. lot. Pretty good. You're comfortable. Yes. I like these seats, honestly. And then there's some adjustability on it. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, there it is. Okay. So you you can move up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I worry, no one's behind you. Yeah, funny, right? Good. <laughs> wow. What do you think of this car? It's like what we drew when we were kids. A small vehicle with cover. I remember you saying you would want to ride your motorcycle, but it'd be raining and right. stuff. So now you can. This feels much more like a car, actually. Yeah. But you can move it back. There's no one's gonna sit behind Actually, you. Actually, this feels a lot like my Datsun um, 240Z. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's about nice. that size. I like these headrests. They're a lot more flat than the Model 3. And the Model 3 has those, and the Y, has those kind of rounded headrests. And your head wants to kind of naturally roll off of them. But these are more flat and cushiony. They don't have like a natural roll to them. Like I could, I could sleep here. I won't, but. How much room is above your head? Can you put your hand up? Maybe two yeah, there's, inches? There's, there's a number of inches. <laughs> I don't know if I can tip the backrest on this. There's yeah, I think it should be more. on this side. I'm going to tip, yeah. tip it up. Uh -oh. oh, there you go. <laughs> no, there's still room. He's trying. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't sit this way. Yeah. <laughs> that looks uncomfortable. No, Impressive good. amount of interior space for a vehicle that's got a big battery and honestly doesn't feel like we're in a three-wheeler. No, like I said, it's, it feels like a... A sports car probably drives like like one too. I want to put it in reverse. Just tab R. You can see the uh, backup camera. Oh wow, there's two. That's cool. So we have a wide view and a close up. View. Dang, I didn't realize there was two separate Is that cameras. Black and white? I wonder if that helps with latency or something. They can get higher frame rates, or oh. I'll put it back in park. Wow, that just popped up right there. So how many screens do we got? Do you awesome. feel ready for a test drive? Oh, I think so. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> It's my first ever prototype drive. Thanks, Abtera. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> we're heading out. Oh, man, we're moving. And you can tell this thing has so much get up. I'm barely touching the pedals. <laughs> wow. Roll the window up or what do you think? Uh, you could, yeah. Sure. Roll mine too. Yeah. That way we get a little bit better audio. <laughs> wow. Oh, that feels good. Sorry, I'm kind of a feather foot. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, man. I could get used to this. You know, the visibility is really great, actually. I feel like I'm right against the side. I can see everything just fine. First off, I'm grateful for how easy it is to see the wheel pants because I know it's a wider vehicle than most. That helps me keep things in the line, which is great. Yeah, I like that rear view camera feed. It's very high frame rate, honestly. I love the sound it makes. It reminds me of the Batmobile from the latest Batman. <laughs> it's really satisfying. Is this a front wheel drive or all wheel drive? All wheel drive. Wow. Yep. Are they the actual Lalafe motors yep. in this one? Yeah. Wow. The ride's surprisingly smooth. I was kind of expecting it to be a lot bumpier for the prototype, and I'm sure Delta's probably just even better, but. I'm already used to the go. You're driving like a pro. You're just like me. <laughs> two redheads driving yeah. a Terra. <laughs> too many redheads. With my height, I'd probably lower the yoke a little bit, which I assume will be a feature on the production model. Yeah. So I can see the camera feeds a little better. But they are big. This display is larger than the little camera profile you get on the Model 3. The mirrors are kind of... I know they're there for legal reasons, but I don't need them. I wouldn't be looking at them. Here we go. 
pull up next to this Prius. <laughs> you think you're an environmentalist. Huh? Everyone thinks you, you're crazy I driving know. this thing. I feel a little crazy. <laughs> roll, down. roll down the window. It's called an Aptera. That's... Cool, huh? It's yeah. solar powered. Is it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Check us out. We're, we make them down the street. See ya. <laughs> Can you imagine using gas? Oh my god. The other thing I noticed, which I was going to ask you about, is the power steering. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't really naturally come to a center position. Is that just something with gamma, or will the delta also be kind of a little that, bit more force than usual? That's a great question. It's, it is something with gamma. That's okay. a great question. It'll, It'll have some work. return to center. Yeah. Okay. And the suspension is designed in a way that there's also some natural return to center as well. Oh, interesting. Um, I feel like the wind is just glossing over. Glossing right over. This would be a good check on the turning radius here. Just kind of cut it hard. So this one has half the turning radius of production. So oh, really? If, if you'd believe it. So this one already is wow. pretty good, but it'll it'll be comparable to a Model 3. It's wow. basically the exact same as a Model That's 3. That's impressive considering the wheelbase. So you're already used to the turning radius. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly That's what you drive. very familiar. <laughs> Which I think is good, honestly, because you know a lot of people buying this are probably not first-time EV buyers, and they're going to be comfortable with NAX and having a center display. Ooh, hello. <laughs> hello. See, I'm I'm being all cautious, and these people are jumping up. <laughs> they're probably distracted. They're like, why is there a plane on the road? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, people really freak out with this thing. Maybe we'll find it really hard here. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> That's a pretty tight corner. I'm trying to see if I can like, I can feel that it's three wheels instead of four, and I'm honestly having a hard time. It's so natural. I'll, I'll cut it really hard here. Okay. Really tight, really tight. Wow. No, oh, that's great. Oh, <laughs> I'm still, I'm new to the yoke, but I like it. I think it's you not, get used to it. <laughs> I think people make a big deal out of it. And this is my first time actually ever driving with one. And I still feel, feel pretty comfortable. I could do this all day. Okay, great. This is fun. Oh, and we're charging. Yeah, we're as charging. we're rolling. So charging as we're rolling. I would leave that up all the time. <laughs> see, I'm used to like only when I signal, I can see my blind spot. Right. With this, it's always there. So I just look down. Do you think I should gun it a little on the hill? Sure. Let's floor it. Let's see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. You guys, you guys have got something special here, man. This is not your average EV. There's so little compromises and so many advantages. All in one little vehicle. I love it. Yep, dude, I'm ready. These seats are surprisingly comfortable. Are they fairly close to production? They're fairly close. Okay. This is, uh, it's all made of one foam uh, density, but in production, there'll be multiple foam densities. Gotcha. So just kind of in, in the cushion areas and things, it'll it'll be a little bit more comfortable, but this is definitely the shape. And this is the exact kind of seating position you're gonna have, okay. headroom, legroom, yeah. all that stuff. I gotta do a big drive home today. We have a long, like 10 hour road trip, and I'm like, I wish I had this thing right now. <laughs> I wish I could take this home. You guys don't need it, do you? <laughs> no. Can you can take it. You're, you're going to be building the PI builds in a couple weeks anyway. So. That's right. Yeah. What, what is this? This, yeah, is, this is old, me, old news, you know. <laughs> that's what's tough for me is I drive it a lot, but it, like even though it's a yeah. pre-production prototype, that's not normal for them to feel so production ready. Like I could, I feel like I could just I drive this home right now. I know. I'm kind of surprised you aren't. <laughs> yeah. If I was working there, I'd be like, so who gets it this weekend? Exactly, you know? right? Like, <laughs> have you ever had anything with the uh, speed bumps or potholes kind of knocking around or... No, the no, ground it's... clearance looks a lot better in person. I got to admit. The wheel pants are one to one with the wheels, so people don't think about that a lot. They're like, oh, the ground clearance is low, but then like the wheel moves. Yeah, the wheel moves with, with the wheel, wheel pants. Pant. Oh. Wow. I have so many questions for everybody. I feel like the moment after I interview someone from Aptera, I immediately think of five more questions. <laughs> I was like, dang it, I should have asked that. I thought this would be a bigger issue. Mm -hmm. In the pictures and videos, you, yeah. you see the ground clearance and you don't get a good feel for the size online. Right. And you're like, oh, how's that going to do in a pothole? How's that going to do in a bump? Or how's this going to do visibility? But your mind kind of just fills in the gaps anyway. You can see everything just as easily. It doesn't feel like a compromise to me. Yeah, here's some speed bumps for you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I was curious about that. Here we go. Okay. How's she handle? Nothing. 
all fine. Yeah, my driveway has a little bit of a drop off like that. So when I get mine, I was like, I hope, do I have to level out my driveway or something? But these speed bumps are not small. No. And you know the other thing about width that people probably don't realize, I've made this mistake in my Model 3, is that when you're in like a tight drive through space, most people cut too early and that usually progresses the back tires. But this one is center. You're so right. I, so, you can never do that. You can't accidentally curb rash the back tire because it's so centered. You'd have to be driving off road or something. You'd have to be doing something pretty I've never thought of it like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's insane. I don't want to wear out your tires. Oh, there's Chris. Oh. Man, my wife gets to see the Aptera first. She gets to see the Cybertruck first and she meets Chris and Jason first. <laughs> Come on. Yep. I'm from the future. <laughs> I'm a believer. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me spin it around. No problem. That was quite an eye-opening experience. <laughs> Why do all cars have four tires? There's no like reason. We're wasting so much money on rubber. Hey. Hi, Chris. Hey, Thank you so much for having us out. We appreciate it. Yeah. You got to meet my wife and uncle too. Thank you. Hi, Jason. Nice to meet How you. Are you? It's wonderful meeting you guys both. Yeah. Kind of blinded here. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> we got answers.